Hi, uh, my name is Joseph Kirstein. I'm a professor at Yeshiva University, the Sison School of Business. And I'm here with my colleague today, uh, Professor Avri Ravi, the foremost expert in the economics and finance of the movie and media industries to discuss the 90th Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars. Are there any indicators that a movie will win an Oscar for Best Picture? The Best Picture Academy Award um, winning are correlated, very highly correlated with the nominations for Best Director and uh, Best Screenplay. For this year, for example, uh, The Post and The Darkest Hour, there are no nominations for the director of the screenplay, and therefore it's less likely that they will win. Most of the other movies have either the screenwriter or the director nominated, or both. How does winning an Oscar, though, affect the winning movie's profitability? The truth is that most Oscar-winning movies are not real money makers. Sequels and family movies, and preferably both, are uh, really what you should do if you want to make money. I know that this year Wonder Woman was, was certainly one of the most profitable movies, but it's not even nominated, I don't think, for the right. best, best pictures. So right, that's, uh, so that's, uh, that's a good example. Yes. And here are the all-male nominees. <laughs> the, the question comes up now about the different initiatives that we're now seeing, the, cha the major changes in the social issues, uh, with the Times, so-called uh, the Times Up initiative, uh, uh, the Me Too movements, uh, what, what impact or what, what other impact is, is, can you see in terms of winning? Academy members are people mm -hmm. and um, they're definitely influenced by considerations such as it's too white and we have to have diversity. A lot of talk about the fact that women directors uh, did not win. Uh, there's just one case I believe that uh, a woman won uh, Academy uh, Award for directing mm -hmm. every year and has been a consistent trend with no changes over the years, which is a little surprising, about 10% of the new directors are women and no more. And you know, so that of course explains partially why they don't get, uh, why they don't get awards because there aren't that many of them. The other thing it could be that there are some, we have some evidence that could support quest, uh, you know, discrimination but we're too early into this research to be able to, you know, provide uh, definitive uh, answers. The fact that there's only 10% women could be self-selection. They're not, they're discouraged from coming into the... Right. So we don't... Right. So it's hard, it's harder for researchers sometimes to distinguish between that, that... Right. And the Oscar goes to... Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Should the studios simply focus on hiring Academy Award winners? The, uh, does it really improve the profitability of the movie? The answer is no, not necessarily, uh, because there is no correlation between Academy Award winners and the success of movies. Not that actors that uh, are that win the Oscars don't get more money. They right. do get more money. Okay, but for the studios to hire them, it's not a profit-making proposition necessarily. So therefore, what is the benefit then of hiring, uh, paying someone more perhaps because they won the Academy Award, if they're not going to necessarily increase the box office take? It's a, an insurance policy. For the movies that did poorly, there is some bump in revenues uh, if you have a star. So if I hire, you know, um, uh, Julia Roberts in the movie flops, I can say, oh, who knew Julia Roberts? If, you know, if you hire me as a star in the movie flops, everybody say, what an idiot. Avri Ravid, who knows who he is? That's why the movie flops. You know, executives get turned over very quickly in the movie industry. So they need this kind of insurance. This year, uh, it's probably one of the first years I remember where I actually saw a movie on, on cable that is up for best picture, the, uh, uh, the Get Out, movie, is it? And uh, um, that re raises a question about the optimal release strategy for movies and is it affected or how is it affected by Netflix and Amazon? People don't necessarily know this. Uh, you can only be nominated for Academy Award in any category if you have a theatrically released film. However, Netflix and Amazon could certainly produce a movie that will be released theatrically for a week or two and then it's on for, to the races. In terms of the release strategy, there are several approaches and nobody knows what's the best. 
Uh, one approach is to release it late and then everybody remembers it, you know, who remembers what happened in January. Another possibility is what you said, which is now becoming possible, which is to release the movie early on and then just show it in different uh, release windows, such as release it uh, on TV. And hope it comes to cable. Yeah, and, and cable and, and, and hope that people uh, pay attention.